And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the YouTube world, we are back with Batman the Telltale Series, Episode 5. The third part, Part 3. Hopefully this is the final part. Let's see how things go down. We're at the Arkham Asylum. It's about, to, it's about time to go one-on-one, -on -one, mano y mano with Lady Arkham. Let's get it. 12.15 in the morning. Ooh, the next day. Let's do this. Everything good? Orderlies are rounded up. That's the last of it, then. The children of Arkham have taken over. Lieutenant Gordon says the GCPD are on their way. He's leading the team himself. If you can find Alfred, maybe you can get him out of there before all hell breaks loose. Almost ready. Let her know. Copy. On our way. Go ahead. I got this. Oh, you got this, all right. You about to get something else. I promise you. What I say? Snuff that damn! I snuffed that man clean. You damn right. Now, Vicky, tell me where Alfred Pennyworth is. The butler. Bruce Wayne has a bat on his payroll. Answer the question. Where he is doesn't matter. He'll be dead soon. Another corpse in Bruce Wayne's family. No one's dying tonight. You really think you're in control here? <laughs> Your confidence is impressive, but that won't save the butler or the rest of Gotham. A lesson needs to be taught. They won't look the other way. Not again. And when did Gotham look away from you? Don't try to psychoanalyze me, Batman. You have no idea what I've done to come this far. Too much to turn back now. I know you've suffered. You were tortured, held captive by the people who were supposed to love you. I don't know how you survived. You want to know how I survived? I survived. Because every night, I dreamed of the revenge I'd take on them. And this forsaken city. Your time's run out. Oh. Alright. Well, we on the run. We on the move. Let's go. Vicky! There's nothing you can do, Batman. I can do everything. You underestimate the true children of Arkham. These souls kept me. Bars. Open the doors. Oh, it sounds like it's time to Arkham. dance. Listen to me. Freedom is yours. The only one standing in your way is Batman. Oh, freedom is theirs, He's and they're gonna attack me. Oh, freedom ain't theirs. Then. Let me at him. He's the crazy one. Strike. What's good, Harvey? I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. It is really Damn, you guys. No, you didn't just. Man, get kicked. What's wrong with you? Get thrown. Gotcha. The entire security system's offline. Every inmate's loose. The leader of the children of Arkham. Did you see her? They went. Damn. <laughs> Just the minute he pointed. They went. I'm out of here. Can't run for long, girl. Oh, damn. Oh, wow. It, it is. Oh, my God, it is. Armageddon in here. Getting away, Vicky. No, you're not. Freeze. All right. Uh, 
I'm screwed. You might. Like, get the fruit tray. Okay, that's not gonna look the way I thought it would, but I ain't got no choice. Am I gonna throw it, or is he gonna get hit through it? Like, how we doing? Okay, he's gonna go flying. I'm gonna pop that. Is this a chair? Door? I don't see the door. They don't give me much time. I can't review it and look back. I have to. Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> we fucking hit. Taser. Nah, I can hit with the gurney. Taser is painful, but the gurney might be a little bit cool. Final. I can hit with that table. I'm throwing tables. I'm throwing anything. Let's go. Eh, that was painful. Eh. Not much I thought it would be. Hmm, KO. There you go, good elbow. I like that. Get cracked. Ew, she cut a hair. Take your time, sons. That's the plan. Okay. Oh, who just Gordon, my man. Right through the head. Mm, I like that. Uh oh. Woo! Full Nelson slammed through the table. What the Truly fuck? inspiring. Such a pleasure to see your work in person. Oh, Jesus. Oh boy. <laughs> Who trying to say this? Okay, the police are here. Gordon's here. We'll round up the rest of the inmates. You stop Lady Arkham. My man. I'm out of here. Alright, Vicky. It's just you and me. How we trying to do this? Oh, don't worry about him. I'll be his ass already. There's no way out now. There's always another way here, Batman. All the people that Thomas Wayne condemned to this place unwillingly, they speak through the walls. Their ghosts walk. They know the way. I can't help those people now, but I can help Alfred Pennyworth. Take me to him. My pleasure. <laughs> We'll play by your rules. I'll play. But when I get up, when I get up is gonna be the big thing. Eh? She moved that damn quick. All right, Vicky. <laughs> Show yourself. <laughs> My ribs. Let him go. The butler has to die. Payment for Thomas Wayne's sins. He took away my family, so I'll take away his sons. If you really want to save the butler, bring me Bruce Wayne. If anyone can find him, it's you. He's probably cowering behind a 12-inch thick wall and a hundred bodyguards right now. I'm not gonna bring you someone just so you can murder him. <laughs> well then, the 
butler's death is on you. You're doing so much for one old man. It's not just an old man. Vicky, stop playing games. This isn't a game to me. You know, Batman, I really don't understand. Why are you fighting me? I've done great things for Gotham. Falcone and Hill deserved to die. If anything, I did you a favor. We're fighting the same fight, Batman. Can you see that? We want the same things. We are nothing alike, Vicky. I fight to save lives. You're a cold-blooded killer. You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be defending him. You think Bruce Wayne is any better than his father? He hides behind his status and wealth. He's a coward, leaving other men to care. I'm curious, Batman. I know why I wear the mask. It's who I am. Who I was always meant to be. What about you? Do you wear the mask to hide? Or to become who you really are? Are you the man? Or the mask? Batman is who I am. Who I need to be. To do what must be done. If that's what you believe, you're lying to yourself. You wear the mask so that you can't be held accountable. And once you're dead, I'm going to mount that mask on my wall. But first, I'll see the man beneath. I'm sure. I'm sure you think that you will. Right behind you. I'm right behind you. I'm right here. Oh, we doing it like this, huh? What's this like Assassin's Creed? Like, what, what the hell is this? I don't know why Assassin's Creed. That's like the first game that came to my head. Hold on, Alfred. Uh, you, you, you came, you came for me. Why wouldn't I? After what you said, I knew you'd come. The man, the man I, I made you. Just hold on, Alfred. Did you see where she went? Uh, she just dis disappeared. I'm getting you out of here. Uh, above you! <laughs> Interesting how you speak to him. So familiar, Alfred. Such concern for someone you've never met before. It's called compassion, Vicky. Something you seem to know very little about. Sounds like deflection to me. There's yeah. more here than you're telling. Yeah, well, that's what you think. It makes me wonder. Do you really care? Only one way to find out. Oh. Tell that man. Mm. Don't you shut Ma up, old man. man! You've seen my true self. Your turn. Prove that you can. Take off your mask. Let me see the man you really are. Attack or move? Attack. You're only a piece in the bigger game, but you're the only piece I have left. <laughs> In the eye. Alright, it's time to dance. No more lies. No more talk. The only truth left is in your death. Let's go. 
Why'd I just go and rock like that was gonna do something? Sure try. I can take these off and beat you up. Can't say I didn't try saving you. Even though you just gave me hell. Either way, you know what I mean? Either way. A week As later. To last week's events at Arkham Asylum, a spokesperson for the GCPD assured us that the breakout has been contained and all inmates have been returned to their cells. Miss Vale is missing and presumed dead following a gruesome battle with the caped vigilante known only as the Batman. Her death marks the end of Children of Arkham's reign of terror. <sighs> if the public knew the half of it... It's better that they don't. Uh, this came in the mail. It's unsigned. Selena. Huh? Well. 
Alfred, here, let, let me help. I, I got no, you, bro. No, don't. Mm. Oh, shit. With everything that's been going on, I... I, uh, I haven't yet thanked you, Bruce. You saved my life. I've no doubt Ms. Bale would have killed me had you not arrived when you did. But the fact remains, in my state, I'm not of much use to you. It'll take time to adjust, and I'm afraid it may interfere yeah, take with my off, butler duties. Take some time well, maybe you should take some time off. You certainly deserve it. It's been so long, I don't even know what time off would look like. Yeah, think about it. A beach, palm trees, a sky that isn't the color of sweatpants. <laughs> well, perhaps that wouldn't be so bad. You deserve no, I am having a hard time picturing you in shorts. Shorts? Never. <laughs> I promise you, I will use everything at my disposal to help you. Oh. Well, sure. I mean, the silver's not going to polish itself, is it? <laughs> we will get through this, Bruce. Don't lose sight of the fact that you've done some real good for Gotham. You should be proud. I didn't take them down alone. I had help. A you, lot of it. Lucius, Gordon, Selina, and all those who gave their life fighting for Gotham. To those who helped, and those we lost. Cheers. The damage done by the children of Arkham has left Gotham a city in turmoil. Faith in those at the top has perhaps irrevocably been shaken. Acting Commissioner James Gordon has promised to speak out about the issue tonight during an emergency citywide address. And I hope, despite the recent terror that's gripped our city, that Gotham's leading citizens will come out to show their support. Will his token appointment be enough to regain the city's trust? It remains to be seen. But experts agree that... Gordon requested Gotham's leaders to stand behind him. Leaders like you. Let Gotham see who Bruce Wayne truly is, and let them know what you plan to do for his future. Well, this could be a fresh start. For you, and for this city. Though, in Gotham, the only figure that can make as much impact as a Wayne... ...is Batman. Yes, sir. You've helped this city tremendously, both as Bruce Wayne and Batman. And that person, whether he dons a cape or not, is someone I'm proud of and honored to call my friend. Thank you, Alfred. Thank you, Alfred. So, what do you intend to do about tonight? Well, Lucius has yet to invent a suit that'll let Bruce Wayne and Batman be in the same place at once. That is unfortunate. I suppose you must decide whose appearance will be more valuable. As Bruce, you can help repair the damage done to your name, get the public support so that you can change things from the top down. But Batman is a symbol of justice and strength. Maybe in these dark times, that is truly what Gotham needs the most. Perhaps one is truly the mask. And one is who you truly believe you are. Here's the thing about it. Now, being now, it is true. If I go as Bruce Wayne, it will help because, you know, the city hates me and for what my family did. So going as Bruce Wayne in this time is probably the best way for the city to at least get off my back and know that I'm trying to do good for the city. However, coming as Batman, they know I'm the hero. They know... I'm, you know, I'm, I'm doing what's right. I'm trying to help the city. Don't hate me. But they don't really hate Batman as much they hate Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne's got a lot more flack than Batman. I think Batman's a little bit more feared. So Batman could chill. I'm Bruce Wayne. Let Gordon know Bruce Wayne will be there. You'll make quite the impression Gordon will be grateful. 
Hopefully the city will be too. That's what I'm hoping. Commissioner Gordon. Hmm. He is here. Commissioner Gordon. Commissioner Gordon. Mm, it doesn't sound right. Sounds perfect to me. Don't worry. It will. Thank you for having me, Commissioner. Well, to be honest, I was surprised to get your call. Now, after that nasty business at your manor, I know Harvey was a good friend of yours. A loss like that, I wouldn't blame you for lying low. What you did is no secret. These people all saw there's more to Bruce Wayne than just the playboy. Public opinion is bound to swing around. I'm hoping. Uh, before long, you'll be Gotham's golden boy again. These people they have no idea who Bruce Wayne really is. But that's about to change. Oh? Well, I look forward to knowing the real Bruce Wayne as well. I was half hoping Batman might show up, too. I wouldn't mind knowing he was keeping an eye on things here. If Batman isn't here, it's because he's more needed somewhere else. I wouldn't take it personally. <laughs> Good advice when it comes to that guy. <laughs> They're ready for you, Commissioner. Now, during times like these, it can feel impossible to hold on to hope. But I have hope. Hope that together we can rebuild what was lost. Now in the last few weeks, as much violence and terror as I've seen, I've also seen the citizens of this community band together to fight those threats. And one of those people is Bruce Wayne. I'm Bruce Wayne. Thank you, Commissioner Gordon. Tough act to follow. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm here today to not only show my support for our acting commissioner, but also for this city. Many of you have suffered terrible losses. And some of those losses came at the hands of my own father. Or at least as a result of his actions. I came to apologize. I've come I to would apologize. like to take this opportunity to apologize. To tell you how sorry I am for the pain the Wayne family has caused this community. I'm sorry. If my recent incident with Harvey Dent has shown me anything, it's that I can no longer sit on the sidelines. My family's wealth was built on the suffering of others. I think it's time to repay that debt. I plan to use my resources to improve the city and make the lives of its citizens better. And to that end... A stronger Gotham police or a better Arkham Asylum? Uh, uh, damn. Jeez, I don't know what to go with. A police or the... I'll go with the police. A closer alliance between the GCPD and Wayne Enterprises will provide the police force with the support, with the training, and the equipment they need to make Gotham safer than it ever has been before. The GCPD will be the most technologically advanced police force in the country because the people of Gotham deserve to feel safe. Yes. Wayne. I don't need the mask. Listen, I don't need the mask. I got hands. Period. Get that bastard to lock up. How was that? That was wild, random too. What the hell? Just minutes ago. 
Bruce Wayne delivered a rousing speech that turned into a shocking assassination attempt on his life. He sure does come up well. Oh, look who's out. See you soon, Brucey. Look who's out. <laughs> Looks like we gonna meet John Doe a little sooner than I expected. Uh, you were 76.9% of players distracted Penguin long enough for Gordon to get the job done. Yes. I feel good about that. Let's see. Uh, did you blame Malfoy for his involvement with, Tom, with Thomas Wayne? You and 67% you and 67 of players confronted comfort 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 Alfred that he wasn't to blame and you other players did that okay. but I was in the minority so we're good a majority of it see uh, you and 91% of players regarded Selena as more than a thief this is true this is true you and 26.9% of players kept the cowl on and protected your identity I don't think it would have mattered because she would have been the only one to know and she died in the end to begin with. So, I mean, I, uh, I mean, I think it matters and I think it doesn't. I know, but it's like, it, it, technically it doesn't matter. So, we just let it be. And uh, you and 61.6% .6 of players showed up to Gordon's address as Bruce. Yes, important. I would have been Batman in this case. I would have been Batman any other way. But in this case, I had to be. I had to be Bruce. It was, it was only right. And that was that. Alright. Oh, let me get my season overview. Let's see. Your Batman Bruce was compassionate. 82%. Pragmatic. Uh, fifty-six percent merciful, sixty-six percent cunning, eighty percent collaborative. <laughs> the crusade to defend Gotham is about helping people, being a beacon of hope in a dark world. To use one's strength to lift people up instead of just beating villains down. Yes, I am a compassionate brother when it comes when it when it needs when I need to be. But that that was it. We did it. Episode one, episode two, episode three, episode four, episode five. We completed Batman's Telltale series season one. It was fun to relive this all over again. Now it's time to relive season two. I'm down for it. I'm ready for it, man. It's been good, man. Until next time, it's been Rose, man. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the love and support. As always, I'm always appreciative of everybody who watches me, pays attention, gives me anything, comments, likes. Even if people give me dislikes, at least you're paying attention. At least, at least you took the time to watch. Me. You feel me? I feel, I feel appreciative about it, about everything. And hopefully I get up a little higher than I am now, but it's all good. Until next time, peace, love, 100. Yerk.